So here we are today at the Driven 24-7 meet at the Clearway Garage just outside of Salisbury. Already got quite a good mix of cars here, uh, everything from an MGB, camper van, Civic, Fear, Fear the Bath, Civic, Swift Sports, uh, Delta Integrale, quite a few Fiestas and some bikes. And we've got a, a Corolla T Sport turning up, very nice. Mini motos. I shall check these out in a bit. So we've got a Ford Puma in green. A Porsche Cayenne. And then I believe this is Amber and Martin's cars. We've got the Fiesta Zetec S and the Honda. La and another Honda logo. Oh, two of them. Same colour as well. Ah, fantastic. Here's my Paseo. I bought this today for a change. I bought next to a Honda Beat. Again, I'll, I'll check these all out in more detail. I'm just doing a quick walk around at the moment. A Volvo 440. So 460, I should say. So this might be the saloon version, I think, whereas the 440 might be a hatchback from memory. The Panda 100 horsepower. I don't know if this is the same one I saw at Furious Driving Social, but it might be, but I'll, I'll have a look at that. And then finally, a red Fiat 500 above C, convertible one. Perfectly good for weather like this. I can zoom out a bit. There we are, that's better. Some more cars turning up, a Ford Mondeo and a Golf livery at a bar. But then I'm more interested in the Honda Beat with a very nice subtle uh, body kit on it. This is immaculate. Uh, and of course they've kept the zebra skin upholstery. Uh, a different steering wheel though, but you know the uh, very motorbike starred dials there. But this is in lovely, lovely condition. It's immaculate. I love this. I really, really like this. Right, so okay, hopefully if my camera won't die this time. So we've got two Honda logos. Now, this one obviously Amber's has the standard engine, but this one, have a look over here. Now, I think the owners were saying this has a V16 engine, so VTEC, a bit peppier out of uh, one of the sportier Civics. I think the VTI, they said, has an air filter on it. Um, it fits quite well, actually. Like, it almost looks factory. It, 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 it's almost like this engine bay was, was designed to take a bigger engine than this. So, I don't know, maybe Honda had plans to, I don't know. But, as I said, yeah, this one is very, very nice. Well, they're both very nice, obviously. This one is uh, obviously the, the more highly modified. So then we got the uh, Ford Fiesta ZTEC S, and this one is very clean, very, very clean indeed. And I'd imagine these days finding standard examples of these are getting very, very hard to find. Oh, it has a blue steering wheel, it's because sporty. Of course, the Mark IV Fiesta. Oh, it's even got a tartan rug in the uh, on the parcel shelf because, of course, the so yeah, the the Mark IV Fiesta was a was sort of a subtle evolution of the Mark III, sort of a major facelift, really. But I think the mechanicals were largely the same underneath. This car here is really quite interesting because it's badged as an Opel, and indeed it is. It, this is the the uh, Opel GT, I believe, and and this car wasn't sold in the mainland it sorry it, it wasn't sold in the uk but it was sold in mainland europe hence you can see the steering wheel yeah. is on the left hand side and basically what happened was that so the the first generation Vauxhall vx220 that we did get here this was its successor again apologize for the boat noise and it was sold mainly in in uh, north america as the Pontiac, oh, I don't even know, but it was sold under the uh, the Saturn brand as the Saturn Sky because in Test Drive Unlimited that was one of the starter cars you could get. 
indeed look, the Opel GT. Um, but obviously, in mainland Europe, GM did sell it under the Opel name, but for some, some reason, they never brought it to the UK. And there's a big shame, I think, because it is a really quite stylish looking car. It's very, very nice. But, oh well, uh, at least we have this one here. This DVR Griffith has just turned up. Oh yes. This is V8 Verbal. Let's check this out. TBR Griffith in probably my perfect colour spec as well. The sort of turquoisey blue and a cream and a beige leather interior. Oh yes. Oh you look wood in the dashboard. It was making a, a lovely burble as it came in here today. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. So this Honda Civic here, this white one, I think this was on Amber's channel recently. It's owned by a, uh, a lady who has done all of this herself, the painting, the artwork on the, uh, on the bonnet here. Canards. Sorry? Oh, thank you. I will have a look in a second. So, very sort of Sakura themed car, which I of course like very much because I am a weeb. Green wheels. Oh, wow, wow, check out the seats. They've got, they've got Sakura patterns on the seats. Oh, that is, that is very nice. Interestingly shaped gear knob. I, I, mm. I mean, I'm sure it's not nice to hold in the hand, and that's all I'll say on that one. Love hearts in the window. And there's even uh, an anime girl on the field filler cap because you feed the anime girl, feeding her, feeding her passion? I, I don't know. Check out this old uh, Volkswagen camper. Well, VW bus. Here's the original one. Motorbikes. So this is a V veg, so a 1981, I think. Quite nice colour. Obviously, a little bit tatty, but it, well, it's it, it's honest. It's a good, honest old camper van, and and we like that. It's Mark One Porsche Boxster turned up. Stop it! What are you doing? I think it's a 986 Boxster, if I recall correctly. The uh, the colour's very nice. I don't know a lot about these though, so I I can't tell you too much about about what engine it's got or anything like that. But it's a nice car. Actually. They are they are growing on me. And then Civic, we have Civic number two, well, Civic number plenty in this meet, but this one is uh, gone for a, a completely different vibe. This has gone for very much because race car vibe. So we've got, wait, even one of the headlights is now a, 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 an air filter. And the engine bay is all red. Maybe this was a red car originally, I don't know, but it kind of looks like a, a McDonald's Happy Meal has exploded in here. But uh, jokes aside, I'm sure this thing is rapid. It's got, uh, I take you a strut base, it's got an air filter. That exhaust looks quite nice, I imagine this is quite loud. And it is bodged, not As I was saying, it is bodged, not bought. Oh, there's a number plate. This is the owner's Instagram, so you can check them out if you want to. And indeed, this has been uh, this has been very much stripped out. In fact, the whole back is gone, and it's got a, a half sort of roll. Well, bracing. I don't think it's a roll cage, but although it has still got drum brakes at the back, so hmm, yeah, they might want to swap those out for discs if they're going for the real performance uh, vibe and well, look at that exhaust, it's come straight out the back. So just sort of last few cars to look up, we've got this Fiat 500, a bar did a golf livery. It's even got a golf livery themed bath badge on it. But, pardon me, the best bit is this. So now your toddler can enjoy the Avast lifestyle. 
That is very cool. And then we have this Lancia Delta Integrale in yellow. I think this is an Evo 1, Evo 2, I don't know very well, but it's definitely a very hot version. Left hand drive, check out the pattern on the seats. Those are lovely seats. And check out the wing. This is probably an Evo 2, I think. It, it looks the lariest of all of them. Got a little Mark and Suzuki Swift Sport here as well. With um, wheels, I think, from an EP3 Civic Type R, which they do actually suit it quite well. It's got a uh, sparkly black paintwork and it is obsessed UK. Uh, I like the purple banner on the top. Yeah, well, I like the, 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 the theme of that one, the black and the purple. That is quite, quite nicely modified, I like that one. I think it's mostly it. Aside from those two Fiestas here. And there are, there's a few cars hidden at the back here. We've got this, we got this M-Class Mercedes, our first generation, with a plushie of some description. And beige. So yes, I have no idea what engine this is. Let's have a look. See if I can go down here without getting stung. That's looking a bit too thorny for my liking. I will uh, just say it's probably like a, a 320 diesel, I imagine. But then we have this. This is a Morris Minor on a G plate. On a G plate. It's seen better days, but I don't know if this just permanently belongs here or if someone's actually brought this here today. We don't know. And then finally, Bentley Turbo R. Well, well, Bentley Turbo. I don't know if this is a Turbo R. And apparently, they say the R. Apparently, it's people saying in the back end, but I know my car stuff. I, well, I beg to differ, but. <laughs> Uh, I might have optimism. Anywho, we have wooden leather and it's all very, 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 all oh, blue carpet. Oh, now that is nice. Very, 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 very luxurious, very, very ostentatious. Well, no, it's, it's not ostentatious. I like these older Bentleys because they're not, they're, but they're very grand. They have a very grand, but somewhat like understated almost sense of presence about them. They're not gaudy, which I like. I like older luxury cars for that reason.